uh, now eat roughly 200 to 300 grams of carbohydrate a day, almost effortlessly, really effortlessly, because I didn't really think about it. As I started to eat in the, the Mastering Diabetes way, the weight just went down every single day, even if I wasn't doing it perfectly. And I didn't do it perfectly. I mean, I, I by far didn't do it perfectly, but it was very forgiving, <laughs> the, the program, because the weight just descended. And so in about, I think it was two, and certainly by four months, I was down, you know, practically 25 pounds. And that's what I am today is 25 pounds less. And it just came from following their program. I was first diagnosed with um, gestational diabetes. When my daughter was born, I was 42 years old, and this was in 1998. I was diagnosed with it, but there was no really follow-up. Nobody really told me about what gestational diabetes was. I think after May was born, I was about 129. And in 2013, I, by that time, weighed 158. And I was diagnosed, or I got the blood glucose result of 6.5. And the doctor said, well, it looks like you have diabetes. And I said, what? And it was a shock. But again, I didn't, it didn't register deeply with me. I didn't learn anything about diabetes. My doctor, for some reason, didn't concentrate on it, didn't focus on it. I think he, I remember him saying that if you lose weight, that's a good way to bring your blood glucose down. So I focused on losing weight. And I got in my mind, I think, I don't know that he told me to, but that was the moment of high protein, um, low carb, high fat. And so I followed that and my have a seven years worth of record of weight on the my fitness pal, pal that shows the weight going up, bouncing up and down in a struggle. I remember, that's what I remember from the last seven years of trying to lose weight is it bounced back up and down, it went maybe down to 145 and then up to 165 and it never got be below 145 and thank goodness it didn't raise me above 165 but it, it was a constant struggle and, and what I remember most is being very anxious about it and every day kind of depended upon if I had lost weight or not. The, the pleasure of the day was very much colored by how much I weighed or and I didn't feel good I remember that too I just felt lack of energy and tired and very discouraged that my body did not do what I thought it would do what it did when I was young I could no longer predict what my body would do or what would make it gain weight or lose weight or what would make me feel good two in the morning on March 28th I started to google diabetes and the book thank goodness the book that came up at the top of the list was Mastering Diabetes. And that's the first book. And I, again, I say thank goodness that I didn't have to unlearn things from before. I just read that book and I was just thought, oh, this is wonderful, this is great, okay. So I began the, the program on April 1st. And what you can see in the chart of the weight loss chart is ironically on March 28th, when I weighed in. After seven years, I think I began, as I said, in, I was 158 in 2013. I, you can see on the graph that starting April 1st, almost effortlessly, really effortlessly, because I didn't really think about it. Um, as I started to eat in the, the Mastering Diabetes way, the weight just went down every single day, even if I wasn't doing it perfectly. And I didn't do it perfectly. I mean, I, by far I didn't do it perfectly, but it was very forgiving <laughs> the, the program because the weight just descended. And so in about, I think it was two and certainly by four months, I was down, you know, practically 25 pounds. And that's what I am today is 25 pounds less. And it just came from following their program. Then in June, I felt like I could use more help. So I signed up for the group, um, small group coaching. And I, that was wonderful to, to have 
to hear other people. That was great to hear. I love it to, to hear other people's experiences and what's going on and to realize that there's so many people out there trying to do this and everyone has a different story and different problems and different, you know, points that are difficult for them. And, and what I particularly liked was the attention that the coaches, they, they're the best listeners in the world. You know, you can see them listening to each person attentively and then coming up, being very responsive to what was just said with all the variations in the diabetes world and spotting what was useful and, you know, coming up with just the right kind of thing to practice for that week. And so that was great. Um, and then in July was the first retreat. And that was particularly memorable for me because even though I had approximated the eating for the Mastering Diabetes, um, maybe I would say, you know, 75% or 80%, maybe sometimes on my best days, 90. I had never actually done consecutively days of incorporating the tools, incorporating exercise and intermittent fasting. I did intermittent fasting, but I'd never done it in combination with the absolutely 100% green light food and doing the decision trees. And so having four full days of that with coaching and learning more science behind what happens to the body and actually eating that way um, was just eye-opening um, because it's you think you're experiencing everything, even doing it, approximating it, but you don't really experience the full power of it until you have the consecutive days of green light foods. And so I continued to do that until the next tool that was so wonderful was this weekly meal plan that came out and getting that in the mail or getting that every Thursday in, in the emails. I opened it and I thought, wow, the green light list of foods that is listed in the book, which is such a good guide, suddenly came to life. You know, it was instead of a list of foods that were okay to eat, you've got these beautiful colored pictures of the green light foods in all sorts of combinations and beautiful photographs of food in the simplest presentation with the simplest um, preparation, which is, I like that. I don't, I'm not big on recipes. I like the real food that you put side by side. Um, and it's just, it's beautiful. The pictures anyway, were very inspiring. And I love to look at it. I, I get excited to receive it. But what I find so amazing about the program and so rewarding and so different in terms of a way of life is the kind of security that comes from eating the green light foods. When I was trying to lose weight from 2013 until 2020, I couldn't figure out what was what was what would make me feel good. But with the green light eating and the help of the weekly meal plan, it kind of is it's kind of a solid foundation. I, I think of it as a kind of rock, solid rock that it that I can sit on that that is immovable, that at least is sturdy, steady ground under me. And if in the middle of a stream, if the blood glucose is the the water going by, that this, if you eat that way, I find that I'm very calm and secure, and I know what I need to do to make myself feel good. It's just very, it's a secure feeling that I didn't have before when I was trying to lose weight. Um, so I just, I'm very grateful, very grateful for the whole program and for the support that's given and for all the tools, taking care, I'm here in Vermont, taking care of my parents. My mom is 96, my dad is 90. And thank goodness, because they've, they've always eaten well and exercised and had a very outdoors life. Um, they're very healthy, but they still need help. And so I have to wake up several times at night, for instance. And if it weren't for the mastering diabetes and the eating the green light foods, I don't think I would be as present I don't think I would be as able to be as present as I am for them and available to them emotionally and just steady 
feeling, you know, because I feel good. I don't have to think about that. I can, I'm more available to them. And so it's been a very nice experience um, being with them. And, and I know it would have been different if I were still on the merry-go-round of trying to lose weight and, and not succeeding on the high fat diet. So that's important for me to share that. I get so much more pleasure out of the day because my mind is not on losing weight. My mind is on so many other things. It's just so freeing. It just frees up all your time. You can spend it instead putting these great combinations of colorful food together. It even went up this weekend um, in the retreat, actually, and I was surprised that I think it, I think, um, oh, it definitely went up. Um, I'm now eating roughly 200 to 300 grams of carbohydrate a day.